Ah, summer, blue skies, sunny days, meadows of green, cycling in the forest. What a great time to enjoy the outdoors. But what if you have the personality of an indoor cat? Well, balconies can be a good compromise between the outside world and home. But there's a problem. Despite the good view and abundant sunshine, I rarely spend time on my balcony. Cause you see, this is what it currently looks like. The tiles are cold and dirty. The balustrade is artificial and cold looking. It has essentially become a spot for storing extra outdoor furniture and dying plants. So let's change that. I turned to Pinterest to gather ideas. I managed to narrow my ideas down to three options. First, creating a black and white tiled space with a bistro table, metal chairs and clay pots. And then the second option I had was to cover the entire terrace with grey wooden patio furniture. So it feels really organic and soft and warm. And then my third option is to make it feel as natural as possible by covering the space with green grass. So then to see how the different materials, colors, and my existing balcony furniture might fit together, I measure the space and model it up in 3D on my computer. So now with a model in place, I could test out different ideas much faster so I don't waste time and money buying things which don't end up working well together in the end. And I think actually this is a step that a lot of people kind of skip out on. This is where my design background now comes in handy. And so in the end, this is what my design looks like. First, I added some natural privacy screens all around the balcony to hide the cold, sterile metal balustrade. I then tried three different options for the flooring, black and white marble, the wood decking, and the fake grass. I honestly originally thought I would like the black and white tile so much more because it looks much more elegant, but I think on such a small space, it almost looks a little bit too chaotic and messy. And the green grass, even though it's much simpler and less designer-like, looks so much more inviting. I also plan to place planters on the edge of the balcony with very tall plants to offer some privacy for my neighbors. In front of the planters, I'm going to put some modular loungers. On the opposite end of the balcony, I'm gonna put some small bistro tables with two round chairs providing a spot to sit and drink First, I had to do some serious cleaning. I cleaned the tiles, the balustrade, the handrail. Is this how you're supposed to clean balconies? It feels like an awful lot of work. How do people with huge gardens cope? threw away all the rubbish that was no longer needed, like this discolored plastic tablecloth, old planters which had rotted. I ordered these privacy fences from Amazon after browsing a lot of different shops. I ordered the fake grass from a local DIY shop. I got the plants from a garden center. I unwrapped the privacy fences and started wrapping them around the balcony. To secure them in place, I used plastic cable ties. I had to use quite a lot of them to adjust the height of this railing because it kept wanting to like dip in the middle. Next, I laid down the fake grass. There are definitely easier ways of doing this. Probably doesn't involve wearing a skirt either. So although the artificial grass wasn't quite long enough for the entire length of the balcony, I bought some extra strips to make up for the shortage. I mean, you can still see that it's not really in one piece, and normally this imperfection would drive me insane. But I know that I'm planning to put some planters on top of this little area, and there'll be seats right in front of it, so no one will actually ever see this strip. So in this way, it's kind of good enough. So grassy plants now go against the corner. And a really cute evergreen shrub goes into a terracotta pot into the corner on the other side. 
My IKEA lounges fit perfectly into this space with seat cushions and pillows on top. I really love this modular system because I can shift the parts around to make the perfect configuration. And of course, some small tables for placing drinks. On the opposite side of the balcony, here I am setting up a small bistro table with a cotton tablecloth to make it look fancier. And for the matching chairs, let's add two cushions under the bum for some extra comfort because metal is a hard material to sit on. Balconies can transform into magical spaces in the evening with the right lighting setup. To achieve this, I wrap some fairy lights around the balustrade. I also wrapped some solar powered lights around this plant and it should automatically turn on at night. In addition, I bought some of these cute solar powered lights from a new online platform called Timu. So I guess here is a solar panel where it gets the energy from and these are the light bulbs. So I just stick this in a plant pot and at night when it's dark, it should light up automatically. And for the tabletop, I included a candle and a mobile outdoor lamp. Here are the results. The balcony has now been transformed into a place to sip and enjoy my coffee, work on my laptop so I can create more videos for you in the future, an area to relax and sunbathe, a place I can play games with my cat, also a space for me to exercise in, some fresh air, and for enjoying the evening breeze. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I managed to transform my balcony. Some subscribers have asked me whether I give virtual design consultations and the answer is yes I do. So if you need some help with your space, just drop me an email and I will be really really happy to use my expertise to help you out. Until next time, thank you for watching, bye!